as the catalog for Netflix original movies continues to grow at a rapid pace, thankfully the quality is getting better as well. To help you find the best that Netflix has to offer, I'll count down the top 10 original movies that you can watch right now on Netflix. At the request of many viewers of this channel, this year, instead of doing a best of all time list, this video will only include films released on the streaming service over the last couple of years. As always, these will be our personal favorites, regardless of the scores from uptight movie critics. Let's get started. Starting off our countdown at number 10 is the action comedy Spencer Confidential. Released in 2020, it stars Mark Wahlberg as Spencer, a former detective with the Boston Police Department who served five years in state prison for beating up a fellow officer. After getting out of prison, Spencer teams up with his roommate named Hawk, who is an aspiring MMA fighter played by Winston Duke. They investigate the murder of two Boston cops to bring the criminals to justice. While Spencer Confidential is a bit predictable and much of the dialogue does fall flat, it's an entertaining film nonetheless. In at number 9 is the action thriller film, Extraction. It stars Chris Hemsworth, who trades in his Thor hammer for an assault rifle as he works as a fearless black ops mercenary with nothing left to lose. Using his skills, he's hired to rescue an imprisoned Indian crime lord's kidnapped son in Bangladesh. Extraction features spectacular action scenes with fantastic stunt work. If you're an action junkie and enjoy this film, I have good news for you. A sequel is currently in development. Coming in at number 8 is Always Be My Maybe. This 2019 romantic comedy stars Ali Wong and Randall Park. They play childhood friends that have a falling out as teenagers, and after not speaking to each other for 15 years, they reconnect as adults living in San Francisco. This film is heartfelt, has funny moments, and it's perfect for a stay-at-home date night with your significant other. Keanu Reeves also has a hilarious cameo that has to be seen to be believed. In the number 7 spot is The Highwayman. This 2019 crime drama stars Kevin Costner as Frank Hamer and Woody Harrelson as Manny Galt. They play former Texas Rangers in this untold true story who attempt to track down and apprehend notorious criminals Bonnie and Clyde in the 1930s. This film is a perfect example of why so many of the movie critics can't be trusted. It seems these days if a movie doesn't fit a narrative they want, they're quick to trash it. Most of you will know what I'm talking about. The Highwaymen is an excellent film with fantastic performances from the entire cast. It tells the story from the perspective of the heroes instead of glorifying the villains. Marriage Story, released in 2019, comes in at number 6. This drama was written, directed, and produced by Noah Baumbach and is loosely based on his own divorce from actress Jennifer Jason Lee. In the lead roles are Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver, with a great supporting cast, including Laura Dern, Alan Alda, Ray Liotta, and many others. It follows a couple going through a messy divorce that pushes them to their personal and creative extremes. It received six nominations at the 92nd Academy Awards. Coming in at number 5 is the science fiction thriller I Am Mother, starring Clara Rugard, Hilary Swank, and Rose Byrne as the voice of Mother. Released in 2019, the story is about a girl in a post-apocalyptic bunker being raised by a robot named Mother who was designed to repopulate Earth after the extinction of humankind. It's intelligently written and well acted with plenty of twists and turns. I Am Mother is perhaps the most divisive on this list. You'll either love it or hate it. The Two Popes in the number 4 spot is a 2019 biographical drama that follows Pope Benedict, played by Anthony Hopkins, and the future Pope Francis, played by Jonathan Price, as they work to find common ground to forge a new path for the Catholic Church. Whether you're a Catholic or not, watching true legends like Hopkins and Price work their magic is reason enough to watch this film. And it's more entertaining than you would think. Before we get to the top three, here are some honorable mentions that just may be worth your time to watch. Six Underground, Lost Girls, Velvet Buzzsaw, High Flying Bird, The Perfection, Force Girl, and Atlantics. Now it's time for our top three, and coming in at number three is El Camino, a Breaking Bad movie. Released in 2019, this neo-western crime thriller follows fugitive Jesse Pinkman and the events that took place immediately following the series finale of the hit TV show Breaking Bad. This film was written, produced, and directed by the show's creator Vince Gilligan. 
Aaron Paul is also back in one of his finest performances, reprising his role as Jesse Pinkman, along with many other familiar characters. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is Dolomite Is My Name. This 2019 biographical comedy stars Eddie Murphy in his greatest role in decades. He plays comedian and filmmaker Rudy Ray Moore, who is best known for portraying the character Dolomite in both his stand-up routines and series of films in the mid to late 1970s. The storyline is great, with fantastic performances from the entire cast. And best of all, Eddie freaking Murphy is back. If you haven't seen Dolomite Is My Name yet, add this to your watch list right now. In the top spot, coming in at number one, The Irishman is our favorite original movie on Netflix. This 2019 epic crime drama is directed and produced by Martin Scorsese. The plot follows Frank Sheeran, played by Robert De Niro, who is a hitman involved with mobster Russell Buffalino, played by Joe Pesci. The film also covers Frank's involvement in the 1975 disappearance of longtime friend and powerful teamster Jimmy Hoffa, played by Al Pacino. The runtime for The Irishman is a whopping three and a half hours and worth every minute. The writing, acting, and cinematography are all top notch, and without any doubt, The Irishman is now the best original movie on Netflix. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you to find a new movie to watch, give it a thumbs up. What is your favorite original film on Netflix? Let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date with our latest top 10s and other tech-related stuff 